In the early 20th century, a young man named Walt Disney had a dream to bring animation to the masses, but his journey was not an easy one. Faced with financial struggles and setbacks, he persevered and went on to create one of the most beloved and successful entertainment companies in the world, Disney. But how did he do it? How did he overcome the obstacles in his path and turn his dream into a reality? This is a story that will leave you questioning how one man's passion and determination can change the world of entertainment. The Early Life of Walt Disney Walt Disney was born on December 5, 1901 in Hermosa, Illinois. He was the fourth of five children and was raised on a small farm outside of Chicago. From a young age, he had a love for drawing and storytelling. He began creating his own cartoons and comics during his teenage years and eventually dropped out of high school to pursue a career in animation. After dropping out of school, Walt moved to Kansas City to start his career as an artist. He worked as a commercial artist and eventually landed a job at the Pessman Rubin Art Studio. While working at the studio, he met a fellow artist and cartoonist, of Works, who would become his lifelong friend and collaborator. In the 1920s, Disney moved to Hollywood and began working as a cartoonist for various animation studios. He eventually formed his own studio, Laugh-O-Gram, but it went bankrupt shortly after. Disney was forced to move back to Kansas City, but he never gave up on his dream of creating animated films. Despite the setback, Walt and Ub continued to work on their animation techniques and eventually landed a contract with a distributor for a series of short films featuring a new character, Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. The films were a success, but the distributor roamed the rights to Oswald, leaving Disney and iWorks without their most valuable asset. Determined to not let this setback defeat him, Disney came up with a new character, Mickey Mouse, and created a new studio, Walt Disney Studios, with the help of his brother Roy. The rest, as they say, is history. From the creation of the first sound and film animation Steamboat Willie featuring Mickey Mouse, Disney Studios went on to produce some of the most beloved animated films and characters of all time. But how the creation of one of the most iconic characters in animation history, Mickey Mouse, catapulted Walt Disney's career and the Disney Studios to success. The Creation of Mickey Mouse in the early 1930s, Disney and his team began experimenting with a new animation technique called sound on film. Using this new technology, they created a short film called Steamboat Willie, which featured a new character named Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse was created as a replacement for Oswald the Lucky Rabbit, a character that Disney lost the rights to. Mickey Mouse made his debut in Steamboat Willie on November 18, 1928. The film was a huge success, and Mickey Mouse quickly became a beloved icon of American culture. The character's design was created by a Works, a close friend and collaborator of Disney. Mickey Mouse was an instant hit with audiences, and Disney quickly began creating more cartoons featuring the character. Over the years, Mickey Mouse has appeared in over 130 films and has become one of the most recognizable and beloved characters in the world. Disney's success with Mickey Mouse allowed him to secure funding to open a new animation studio, which he named Walt Disney Studios. The studio began producing a wide variety of animated films and shorts, including classics like Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs and Cinderella. What other forms of entertainment did Walt Disney and his team began experimenting with after the success of Mickey Mouse? How did it change the entertainment industry? The Rise of Disney Studios with the success of Mickey Mouse, Disney was able to secure funding to open a new animation studio, which he named Walt Disney Studios. The studio began producing a wide variety of animated films and shorts, including classics like Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs and Cinderella. These films were groundbreaking in their use of color, sound, and storytelling, and they set the standard for animated films for decades to come. Disney also began experimenting with new forms of entertainment, such as theme parks and live-action films. He opened Disneyland in 1955, which was an immediate success and set the standard for future theme parks. Disneyland was the first ever theme park of its kind and was an instant hit with visitors. It featured attractions based on popular Disney characters and films, such as the Disney and Alwood monorail system and Disney's Enchanted Tiki Room. The success of Disneyland led to the opening of other Disney theme parks around the world, such as Disney World in Florida, Tokyo Disneyland, and Disneyland Paris. Today, the Disney theme parks are among the most popular tourist destinations in the world, drawing millions of visitors each year. 
Disney's live-action films also began to gain popularity, with films such as Mary Poppins and The Jungle Book becoming box office hits. Disney's animation and live-action films were critical and commercial successes, making Disney Studios one of the most successful studios in Hollywood. Disney's reach extended to television as well, with the launch of the Mickey Mouse Club in 1955 and later The Wonderful World of Disney in the 1970s. These shows brought Disney characters and stories into the homes of millions of families, further solidifying Disney's place in American culture. What challenges did Walt Disney face during his lifetime, and how did he overcome them? How did his passing affect the company, and how did it continue to evolve and change? Find out in the next chapter. The Legacy of Walt Disney Walt Disney passed away on December 15, 1966, but his legacy lived on through the continued success of Disney Studios. The company expanded into new areas such as television and created new franchises such as Star Wars and Marvel. Disney's acquisition of Lucasfilm in 2012, which brought the Star Wars franchise under the Disney umbrella, has been a major success for the company. Similarly, Disney's acquisition of Marvel in 2009 has also been a major success, with films such as The Avengers and Black Panther becoming box office hits. Disney's theme parks also continue to grow and expand, with new parks such as Disney California Adventure and Hong Kong Disneyland opening in the years following Walt's passing. Today, the Disney theme parks are among the most popular tourist destinations in the world, drawing millions of visitors each year. Disney's reach extended to television as well, with the launch of Disney Channel in 1983 and later Disney XD and Disney Junior. These channels brought Disney characters and stories into the homes of millions of families, further solidifying Disney's place in American culture. The company also expanded its merchandise division and created a consumer products division, which included licenses for products such as toys, clothing, and home decor. Today, Disney's consumer products division is one of the most successful in the world, with Disney-branded products being sold in nearly every corner of the globe. Walt Disney's legacy continues to be felt in the entertainment industry today. He had a vision for telling stories through animation and entertainment that have been passed on to generations and it continues to bring joy and inspiration to people of all ages around the world. What was Bob Iger's role in Disney's success during his tenure as CEO? How did Disney adapt to the streaming era and what's next for the company? Find out in the next chapter. Disney Today Disney has continued to evolve and change with the times, but it has always stayed true to its roots of storytelling and entertainment. Bob Iger, who became CEO of Disney in 2005, played a significant role in the company's success during his tenure. Under his leadership, Disney made strategic acquisitions such as Lucasfilm, Marvel, and 21st Century Fox, which helped to expand the company's portfolio and bring new franchises under its umbrella. In the streaming era, Disney adapted by launching its own streaming service, Disney Plus. The service has been a success, with millions of subscribers tuning in to watch shows and films from the company's extensive library. Disney Plus has been instrumental in helping the company to navigate the shift towards streaming and the decline of traditional cable television. Today, Disney is a global media and entertainment company with a portfolio that includes television networks, film studios, theme parks, and consumer products. It continues to be one of the most recognizable and beloved brands in the world. Thanks to the vision and creativity of its founders, Walt and Roy Disney, Bob Chappick, who succeeded Bob Iger in 2020, has been leading the company since then. He has been making strategic moves to adapt to the new reality of the entertainment industry, such as reopening the theme parks, launching new movies and series, and expanding the company's presence in the streaming market.